Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are doing fabulous because it is a great day. And today I am doing a collab with a person who does not know I am doing this collab. So if you want to know more about this, just stick around. This is a surprise collab. Let me explain. Stephanie Farrell from the channel Stephanie Farrell Focus asked me a long time ago if I would do a collab with her. And I just was not able to do it. I, I just couldn't do it. I had so much going on. I was so busy. And every day since, and I'm, I'm telling you, maybe this is five months ago, <laughs> I have been feeling so guilty and so awful because Stephanie is a wonderful, wonderful person. I'm going to put her link below. She um, is always willing to help people. She belongs to the uh, Facebook group Platinum YouTubers and you know when people had questions because that's what that group is about. It's about you know getting some insight and uh, supporting each other in terms of sharing uh, information and tips and tricks on how to be successful on YouTube and other media as well. So she went and she provided a lot of support and a lot of information with regards to videoing because she's a professional photographer, among other things. But um, she asked me, oh, let's do this collab and let's do it on, um, you know, cameras or videoing or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So it takes me a long time to prepare because I have to really know um, technology and of course I felt bad because she knows so much much more than I do so I guess I was just overwhelmed by the thought and I never did it so I am doing this collab and Stephanie doesn't know I will tell her <laughs> and I will share with you what I use what are my cameras right now I am filming with my Canon uh, see now you know what I mean I have no technology I don't even know what's the name of this camera um T7i I'm looking at the camera to get the name I'm filming with my T7i and I am using a new filter filter no lens <laughs> okay Stephanie you see what I mean I'm using a new lens that I bought which is a pancake lens and I bought that one because I wanted my camera to be light enough for me to be able to carry it around I have very little strength in my wrist and my hands so um, I got this camera I'm having a little bit of trouble with this lens rather because it um, it's hot it's different it has a totally different area that it picks up it focuses differently but I'm trying to get used to it so before I'm going to show you the lens that I used to use and when I switch cameras because I'm going to switch cameras so that you see the other camera I use then I'll be able to show you the pancake lens on the Canon so this is the other lens that I would use on my Canon let me see if I can make that focus for you and I liked this lens a lot this is the 18 to 55 mm I have no clue I am not technically uh, prepared in terms of cameras so I am sorry but I really liked this one I liked setting it up on my um, stand in front of me and um, I liked the distance that I would be able to place this because with my pancake lens I can't really see what's in the viewfinder because I use glasses and I do not like to use my glasses for my videos all the time even though they're very cute glasses. I'm going to show you the other camera. Here we go. This is the one that I started with and you know what it's the best purchase somebody gave me some advice to start with this camera I call him Sonny but that's not his name 
but uh, that's his cam. That's his favorite camera, Sony. So <laughs> I say Sony, but it's Sony, and he has a channel. I'm going to try and um, put that link below. And uh, he gave me the advice to get this camera because it, it was affordable and it was pretty good. And uh, you know what? He was right. This is a great starting camera. This is a Sony HDR CX405. And I don't know, I'll put all the links below. But this is a very extremely lightweight camera very lightweight great for vlogging if you've got good light you're going to get a pretty good image with this um for that price i don't know if there are other cameras that are better if there are perfect this one is the type of camera that will just continue videoing until you run out of batteries or run out of space um the canon that i have is not like that the canon will turn off I think after 29 minutes because it's really meant for still photography. Um, so let's see what else. Oh this one I have on this stick which is a three-way uh, selfie stick because you can set it on the table like this. It also has a um, I can't take it out now but it has a Bluetooth a little thingy <laughs> a remote control that you can take off and operate your camera via Bluetooth this one doesn't have Bluetooth my Canon does but I never use this stick and then you can expand it like this so I have two of these this one is by what's the name of this one I don't know don't know the name but this a selfie stick is not as sturdy as this one is. I mean, this is the one that I use for my Canon camera. I mean, this one will hold a Canon, um, what is it I have, Rebel T7i, and it will not fall. You've got your remote control as well. It's cool because your remote control can, you can put it, let's see if I can take it off. There, see? This one I can take it off even if it's um, not extended. Uh, this one has a little thing here that you can carry. You can tie some string or something. Uh, so I think it's better, but I've never used the Bluetooth. I don't need it. So I don't know if it works. I'm assuming it does. I mean, everything works nowadays. You know, Bluetooth is not a touch and go situation. It's pretty, pretty easy technology nowadays. Now the, this one, the reason I like this one is the material is much sturdier, much more heavy duty. Uh, my camera remains stable when I put it on here. Um, the only reason I don't fully extend it when I'm doing vlogging is just because my hand, I can't carry that weight. So the further out that I extend my uh, stick, the more difficult it is for my hand to manage the weight, but not the selfie stick. The selfie stick manages the weight excellently and keeps uh, everything in place. You don't have any rattling or twisting. It's perfect. Um, this one is made by Benro, which is a company that makes camera equipment and it's very well known. All of the links are going to be below. Now I'm going to switch over so that you can see my Canon in my hand and you can see the quality of my uh, Sony. I decided not to put my Sony on the uh, stand uh, because I'm just lazy. <laughs> but basically this thing on the bottom, see that thing on the bottom? That is removed and then it is placed on the camera and then the camera goes, let me show you where it goes, it goes right there, see, on this little square and I'm good to go but I'm using it on the selfie stick so you can see it's pretty stable it's very lightweight the selfie stick I used for this camera I think was less expensive and it's perfect for this lightweight camera 
this is the pancake lens that I was talking to you about. Um, I bought this on eBay. I think I, I bid for it and I think I got it for maybe, I don't know, maybe $100. So, you know, that's this one. And the other lens came with the camera. So this is a heavy camera. I think now in retrospect, I probably should not have bought this camera because I want a camera that doesn't turn off in 29 minutes <laughs> because I also want to use it for other things where I would video long term and um, I wanted a good quality image but I did not want it to turn off. I did not know it turned off. That's why I made that video about going to the camera shop before you buy a camera. <laughs> and I'll put it somewhere up there so that you can go and see it. Those are the two cameras that I use and the selfie sticks, the two selfie sticks. My Canon camera remains in, my, not my Canon camera, my Sony camera, the one you're watching me video with now remains in my purse with its selfie stick in case I get in the mood of doing some kind of video <laughs> and the other one uh, doesn't this one stays stored in my camera box or camera storage thing I don't know what you call it but I made a video on it. it's really a cool box so anyway I hope that you like this video please subscribe go and visit Stephanie and tell her about my surprise she doesn't know anything about it <laughs> but more important than all that I hope that you have a day filled with peace love and joy bye bye